22-year-old champion Good Magic headed a group of six hopefuls for next Saturday's $2 million Kentucky Derby presented by Woodford Reserve, Great Eye, putting in works at Churchill Downs on a chamber of Summer Saturday morning, Good Magic worked five furlongs in 1 minute 1 second and 20 milliseconds, Flame Away worked a half mile in 47.80, My Boy Jack worked five furlongs in 1 minute and 3 seconds and 20 milliseconds, Free Drop Billy worked a half mile in 49.40 and Promises Fulfilled worked five furlongs in 1 minute 0 seconds and 40 milliseconds. All of those works occurred during the 7.30 to 7.45 training window reserved for Derby and Kentucky Oaks horses, working at 5.30 was Bravazzo, who worked 5 furlongs in 1 minute 1 second and 40 milliseconds, Blended Citizen breezed 1 mile in 1 minute 41 seconds and 60 milliseconds Saturday morning at Keeneland under jockey Kyle Frey, Bolt Dora worked a half mile in 48.20 Saturday morning at Santa Anita Spirense. Fire worked a half mile over the Belmont Park training track in 51.02. Hofberg is the only Kentucky Derby probable starter scheduled to work at Churchill Downs on Sunday. Monomoy Girl, who figures to be one of the favorites for the $1 million Long Ines Kentucky Oaks Ski, worked five furlongs in company in 1 minute 1 second and 60 milliseconds. Other Oaks fillies working at Churchill Downs were Sassy Sienna, half mile in 49.20, Flamed, half mile in 48.40, and Eskimo Kisses, 5 furlongs in 1 minute 1 second and 20 milliseconds, working at Santa Anita Saturday morning was Midnight Bisu, who covered 6 furlongs in 1 minute 13 seconds and 80 milliseconds and Raya, 5 furlongs. In 1 minute 1 second and 80 milliseconds, Audible, Magnum Moon, Noble Indy, Vina Rosso, many, in fact the majority, of trainers choose to walk their horses the day after a workout but not so with multiple Eclipse Award winner Todd Pletcher. He sends them back to the track, I like to see where they are the day after a breeze, he said Saturday morning after dispatching his Kentucky Derby bound quartet trackside during the 7.30 to 7.45 Derby, Oaks only special training period on a clear and crisp morning at Churchill Downs. I want to see how they're moving, how they've come out of their exercise, what he saw from his stakes winning crew of Audible, Magnum Moon, Noble Indian Vino Rosso pleased him, they all went well, they looked good, we're where we want to be with them, he continued while touching wood. They'll all get their walk day tomorrow, Saturday, the four Colts under their regular exercise riders stretched their legs and took a turn standing in the starting gate. Magnum Moon, Nick Bush, and Vino Rosso, Adele Bellinger, each jogged a mile, while Audible, Amelia Green, and Noble Indy, Carlos Cano, galloped the same distance. The previous morning they had been timed in half-mile drills at 49.40, Audible, 47.40, Magnum Moon, 47.20, Vino Rosso, and a 5 eighths move of 1 minute 1 second and 60 milliseconds, Noble Indy, the Bay Audible, hero of the Great Eye Florida Derby, is owned by the four-way partnership of China Horse Club International, head of Plains Partners, Starlight Racing and Wing Star Farm, Stable Mate Magnum Moon, who rang the bell most recently in the Great Eye Arkansas Derby, races for Lawana and Robert Lowe, Louisiana Derby, GII, winner Noble Indy goes postward for the pairing of Wing Star Farm and Repole Stable, while Wood Memorial, GII, Victor is co-owned by Repole Stable and St. Elias Stable, Blended Citizen, Greg Hall and SAYJAY Racing's Blended Citizen worked one mile at Keeneland in 1 minute 41 seconds and 60 milliseconds Saturday morning under jockey Kyle Frey, according to trainer Doug O'Neill's assistant Jack Sisterson, the Jeff Ruby Stakes, GIII, winner is no. 21 on the Kentucky Oaks leaderboard, ship date is to be determined. Bolt Doro, owner, trainer McRue is said he got exactly what we wanted. Saturday morning at Santa Anita Park in California when his Kentucky Derby bound ace Boldoro drilled four furlongs in 48.20 at 7.45, with three-time Kentucky Derby winning rider Victor Espinosa in the tack, the Husky. Son of May Dahlia Doro put in his final bit of exercise for the 144th run for the Roses much to the delight of the Mercurial Ruiz Victor never moved a hand on him, the owner, trainer said enthusiastically. He went around there easy as could be. We didn't need any more with him put that 7 eighths work into him last week, April 22nd, and he's got all his air now. Heck, if after his wins in the San Felipe, GII, and the Santa Anita Derby, Gi, and that good work last week, if that isn't enough to have him ready for this race, then we shouldn't be there, Espinoza, who scored in the Kentucky Derby with War Emblem, 2002, California Chrome, 2014, and American Pharaoh, 2015, will handle the $630,000 yearling purchase next Saturday, Ruiz. 
was on his way to the airport in Los Angeles for a flight to Kentucky and a first-time visit to Chestnut Farm, a facility he'd recent purchased that is located approximately four miles from Keeneland Racecourse. Bolt Dora will ship to Louisville Monday on a flight with several Calif CA horses bound for stakes engagements at Churchill Downs. Ruiz said he will drive over from Lexington to meet him that day. BRAVACO, Calumet Farms homebred risen star, GII, winner Bravazo breezed 5 furlongs in 1 minute 1 second and 40 milliseconds Saturday morning at 5.30 with exercise rider Danielle Rosier aboard for Hall of Fame trainer D. Wayne Lucas breezing inside Maiden Burko, 1 minute 1 second and 80 milliseconds, Bravazo started 2 lengths behind and worked through splits of 14, 26 and 37.80 before galloping out 6 furlongs in 1.15, according to Churchill Downs clocker John Nichols, he's doing really good, the 82-year-old Lucas said. It's always great to have a horse in the Derby, even though this year's field is tougher than others, Lucas confirmed Saturday Luis Contreras will have the mount on the first Saturday in May. Combatant, Dream Baby Dream, with exercise rider Angel Garcia up, Winchell Thoroughbreds and Willis Horton's combatant galloped one and a half miles for Hall of Fame trainer Steve Ismussen, needing two defections to make the field, Dream Baby Dream stables Dream Baby Dream galloped one and a half miles with Juan Vargas in the saddle. Enticed, Go Dolphins multiple graded stakes winner Enticed galloped at Palm Meadows Training Center Saturday morning for trainer Kiar and McLaughlin, winner of the Kentucky Jockey Club GII here last fall, Enticed is scheduled to gallop again Sunday morning before beginning the ship to Kentucky in the afternoon for a Monday arrival at Churchill Downs. Junior Alvarado, who was aboard for the victory here last fall, has the Mountain Derby 144, be run safe fire, Mr. Amor Stables Firenze Fire worked a half mile on his own in 51.02 over the Belmont Park training track, it was just a maintenance move. Trainer Jason Service said, it was fine. He is supposed to leave at 11 in the morning and be at Churchill Monday. Paco Lopez has the derby call on Firenze Fire. F-L-A-M-E-A-W-A-Y, John Oxley's Flame Away worked for furlongs in company in 47.80 for trainer Mark Cass during the 7.30 to 7.45 training window for Derby and Oaks horses, ridden by Chris Garraway, his splits were 11.60, 22.80 and 34.80, galloping out in 102. Cass was on site for the work, I honestly couldn't ask for anything better. Cass said of the work that was the second fastest of 83 at the distance. We had radios on the rider, so we stopped him at about the 3 sixteenths pole to slow him down because he was going to work faster than I've ever seen him work. He's not much of a workhorse normally, but he's gotten a little more aggressive and worked better here I would say. Flameaway's workmate was John Oxley in my Meadowview Farms ride a Comet, who Cass said will run. In the 1 and a 16th mile American turf, GII, on Derby Day, jockey Jose Lescano, who has ridden Flame Away in his past three starts this year, has the mount in the Kentucky Derby. Flame Away most recently ran second in the Bluegrass, GII, April 7th, behind Good Magic. Free drop Billy, promises fulfilled, it was a busy morning at Churchill Downs' all-time leading trainer Dale Roman's barn for Saturday with his two derby contenders, Alba Family Stables Free Drop Billy and Robert Barron's promises fulfilled, completing their major preparations for the Kentucky Derby presented by Woodford Reserve Key, front-running Fountain of Youth, GII, winner promises fulfilled breezed a half mile in, 48 with Juan Segundo up through splits of 12 and, 24.40 before galloping out 5 furlongs in 1 minute 0 seconds and 40 milliseconds and six furlongs in 113, according to Churchill Downs clocker John Nichols, I think most people know our plan in the Derby, Roman said. This horse is naturally fast and so we'll be up front early and hope we can stay there late, with Faustino hair art aboard, bluegrass third place, free drop Billy worked a half mile in, 49.40 with splits of 12.60 and 37, according to Nichols, he worked really good, Roman said. He already has a lot of foundation in him from the bluegrass so he doesn't need anything major to get him ready. With 710 victories at Churchill Downs, Roman surpassed Hall of Fame trainer Bill Mott's all-time win tally last fall. Both trainers do not have a victory in the Kentucky Derby, it would mean everything to me to get a win in the Derby, Roman said. I keep sounding like a broken record telling everyone how badly I want a Derby win. When I broke Bill's record last fall it was probably one of the greatest moments of my career. I never thought I'd get as emotional as I did. It truly meant a lot to me and I can only dream of what it would be like to win the Kentucky Derby. Corey Lannery has the mount on promises fulfilled while Robbie Alvarado rides free drop Billy. Good Magic, the last year's Eclipse Award-winning champion two-year-old male, owned by E5 Racing Thoroughbreds. 
Churchill Downs clockers recorded splits of 12.80, 24.80, 36.60 and 49.40. Trainer Chad Brown timed the work in 1 minute 0 seconds and 80 milliseconds with a 6 furlong gallop out of 1 minute 13 seconds and 80 milliseconds and 7 eighths in 1 minute 27 seconds and 20 milliseconds, this is as good as he's ever worked, Brown said. He won the Breeders' Cup last year off of a really, really good breeze. It's really taken all winter and spring to get him right to what we see today, at his very best. The work unfolded at 7.30 a.m. during the exclusive Derby and Oaks training session. Malasquez wasted little time getting down to business, getting on and off the track, while many of the other Derby horses were still backtracking and taking in their surroundings. Brown described the move, headed to the pole the horse showed great energy. Actually, a little keen, but manageable. My rider, Walter, gets along with this horse, he's been galloping them every day and he's been breezing him. They have great chemistry together and he got him settled and focused when they started the breeze. From there on it was very smooth, well within himself, Brown was in communication with Malasquez from the front side during the work but said he only used the radio to confirm early on that they weren't going too fast, the time is a guideline to see where we're at, but really it is how he's moving, how he pulls up, soundness wise and fitness wise, and so far he's done everything we've asked him to do, Brown said, winner of the last two Eclipse Awards as the nation's top trainer, Brown has been openly enthusiastic about good magic's chances at wearing the roses, especially relative to the other very good horses he's brought here, like Normandy Invasion, fourth in 2013, and Practical Joke, fifth last year, he's the best horse we've ever taken to the Derby, for sure, Brown said. He has all the qualities that I think it would take. He's a highly regarded two-year-old champion, has the right pedigree, good-looking, sound, and enormous ability. Coming into a big race you try to read their body language and see how they're doing overall. If you know your horses individually then you know what their par is and this horse looks to be in his zone right now, mentally and physically. He's giving me all of the right body language that I've seen from other horses going into big races over the years. In a way, you try to treat this race like any other big race and that's what we're doing and he's giving us all of the right signs, the Breeders' Cup Juvenile, Guy and Bluegrass Stakes, GII, winner will be piloted in the Derby by the 2017 Eclipse Award winner as outstanding jockey, Jose Ortiz, who has been aboard since Good Magic's second start. Hofberg, Jed Monty Farms Inc.'s homebred Florida Derby, G1, runner-up Hofberg galloped about one and a half miles under exercise rider Penny Gardner, the former jockey who rode in the 1970s, raced two jockeys, Mark Chavez and Casey Chavez, and then rode races again in the mid-1990s. Hall of Fame trainer Bill Mott reported that Hofberg went very well and has impressed him the past few days since arriving at Churchill Downs, he's moving very well over the track. Mott said, we went through the paddock early and gave him a couple turns there, the derby will only be Hofberg's third start of 2018 and fourth overall. He broke his maiden on March 3rd before earning all 50 of his road to the Kentucky Derby points with the good second in Gulfstream's $1 million derby prep, finishing three lengths behind the winner but more than seven lengths clear of the third place finisher, he ran on, Mott said. He kept up his run pretty well all the way to the wire and galloped out okay. I guess a horse like Audible certainly had license to beat him on the day, having had more experience, but hopefully we've caught up. Hofberg is scheduled to work Sunday during the Derby training session with Gardner up and will school in the paddock during Racing Tuesday. Rod Ortiz Jr. has the Derby mount. Instilled regard, Oxa Week Wines instilled regard galloped at Santa Anita Saturday morning and is scheduled to work at 6.30 a.m. Sunday with a Monday departure scheduled for Churchill Downs, according to trainer Jerry Hollendorfer's assistant Dan Ward. Justify, S-O-L-O-M-I-N-I, -I, the undefeated Santa Anita Derby winner and presumptive Kentucky Derby favorite walked the shed row at Hall of Fame trainer Bob Baffert's Santa Anita Park Barn the day after posting a 7 furlong workout in 1 minute 25 seconds and 20 milliseconds, you want to see a horse that's enjoying what he's doing, Baffert told the Santa Anita press office. He worked well and got something out of it, the work elicited rave reviews from onlookers for the way Justify accelerated around the clubhouse turn, he hit the ground good. Jockey Drayden Van Dyke said. He's like a Cadillac Breeders' Cup Juvenile, G1, runner-up Salomini, owned by Zayat Stables LLC, Mrs. John Magnier, Michael B. The Baffert contingent for Derby weekend stakes, also including Kentucky Oaks contender Raya and last year's Kentucky Oaks winner Abel Tasman, is expected to arrive Monday afternoon. Lone Sailor, GMB Racing's Lone Sailor Walk Tom Amos Barn 29 Shedro following his half-mile breeze in 48 Friday morning.
Mendelssohn, UAE Derby, GII, winner Mendelssohn is expected to arrive in Louisville Monday at 5.30 p.m., according to director of the stable area Steve Hargrave, the colt is expected to stay in quarantine for 42 hours and could train Thursday morning. My boy Jack, the stretch running cold worked in his usual style Friday morning, starting off nice and easy but finishing up nice and strong for trainer Keith Desermo during the Derby Oaks training break at 7.30, the Cajun. Trainer's brother, Kent, he of the Hall of Fame, is the Dark Bay's usual pilot, but for this exercise the conditioner called on a Cajun pinch hitter to handle the controls, rider Brian Hernandez Jr was in the tack as he broke off the Southwest GIII and Lexington GIII stakes winner at the 5 furlong pole en route to a 5-panel clocking of 1 minute and 3 seconds and 20 milliseconds. Churchill Downs's clockers assigned splits of 13.60 and 38.40 along the way intact on a gallop out time of 1 minute 16 seconds and 60 milliseconds. He started out slow, but he picked it up pretty good at the end, trainer Desermo said. That's just what we wanted him to do, the trainer and his assistant, Julie Clark, watched the drill from the deck of the track's bluegrass breakfast tent on the back stretch and he timed his charge separately. I got him going his last quarter in, 24, he said. He knows what he's doing, Desermo noted further that, Jack, has 10 starts coming into the run for the Roses, the most by any horse in the likely 20-horse field, my boy Jack is owned by the three-way partnership of Don't Tell My Wife Stables, Monomoy Stables and West Point Thoroughbreds. He has a bankroll that reads at $645,145 a week in front of his date in the $2 million guaranteed Kentucky Derby. About an hour before my boy Jack went through his exercise, Desermo worked another horse with a Kentucky Derby connection. With the stables exercise rider P.D. Landry up, Sonneteer registered a half-mile drill in, 51.60. A check of the 2017 Kentucky Derby chart would show that the Dark Colt had finished 16th in the race won by Always Dreaming. Shaping up, the Kentucky Derby, likely starters in the 144th running of the $2 million, Great Eye Kentucky Derby presented by Woodford Reserve to be run for three-year-olds at one and a quarter miles on Saturday, May 5th, Audible, Jackie Javier Castellano, Bolt Doro, Victor Espinoza, Bravazo, Luis Contreras, Enticed, Junior Alvarado, Firenze Fire, Paco Lopez, Flame Away, Jose Lescano, Free Drop Billy, Robbie Alvarado, Good Magic, Jose Ortiz, Hofberg, Rod Ortiz, Jr., Instilled Regard, Drayton Van, Dyke, Justify, Mike Smith, Lone Sailor, James Graham, Magnum Moon, Luis Cies, Mendelssohn, Brian Moore, My Boy Jack Kent Desermo, Noble Indy, Florent Giroux, Promises Fulfilled, Corey Lennery, Salamini, Flavian Pratt, Bina Rosso, John Velasquez, Possible Starters Within the Top 20 on the Preference List, Combatant TBA, Next Up in Order of Preference, Blended Citizen, Kyle Frey, Dream Baby Dream, TBA, Restoring Hope, TBA, Sporting Chance, TBA, Give Me Minute, TBA, and Bony Up, TBA, Kentucky Oaks update Amy's Challenge, trainer Mac Robertson reported Saturday morning that Novogratz Racing Stables Amy's Challenge, no. 12 on Kentucky Oaks leaderboard, was on her way to Churchill Downs from Oaklawn Park, she just worked a few days ago and will not work at Churchill prior to the Oaks, Robertson said regarding a possible start in the Oaks. Right now we are keeping all of our options open before we commit, another option for Amy's challenge would be the 8 Bell, GII, blamed Clever Massey's Sunland Park Oaks winner blamed worked for furlongs in 48.40 under Robbie Alvarado for trainer Joe Omar during the 7.30 to 7.45 training window for Derby and Oaks horses. She galloped out in 1 minute 1 second and 20 milliseconds. This was her second work over the Churchill Downs surface since her arrival in Kentucky from New Mexico, I liked that we weren't out there, to go super fast, Mar said about the work. She picked it up at every pole, finished up strong and galloped out really well on her own, blamed will walk tomorrow and jog Monday, and will visit the track each day this upcoming week, possibly including Friday. The morning of the Kentucky Oaks, we'll just see how she is acting and what she tells us to do, Mar said, Jockey Kento Hill has the mount in the Oaks and likely will arrive Tuesday according to Mar. Chocolate Martini, Double Doors Racing's Fairgrounds Oaks, GII, winner Chocolate Martini walked the Shedro Saturday morning following her 5 furlong bullet work in, 58.80 Friday, trainer Tom Amos has yet to confirm a jockey. Classy ACT, Patrona Margarita's trainer Brett Calhoun's duo of Classy Act and Patrona Margarita walked the Shedro Saturday following their half-mile works in, 47 and, 50.80, respectively. Coach Rocks, Gulfstream Park Oaks, GII, winner Coach Rocks walked trainer Dale Roman's barn for Shedro Saturday morning following her 5 furlong move in 1 minute 0 seconds and 20 milliseconds Friday at Churchill Downs. 
Eskimo Kisses, Magdalena Racing, Gainsway Stable and Harold Lerner's Ashland E. Runner-up Eskimo Kisses made their first appearance at Churchill Downs in five months with a five furlong breeze in 1 minute 1 second and 20 milliseconds for trainer Kenny McPeak, with jockey Corey Lannery up. Eskimo Kisses breezed through opening splits of 12.60 and 37.80 before a six furlong gallop out in 1 minute 15 seconds and 20 milliseconds. She really took to the track well, Lannery said. I thought she may have regressed just slightly in the Ashland after she ran big in the March 24th Fairgrounds Oaks GII. I think it was probably the best she's felt since I've been on her, we're very happy with how she's doing, McPeak said. It was a very nice work, Lannery has the call for the Oaks. H-E-A-V-E-N-H-A-S-M-Y-N-I-K-K-I, Loot Racing Stables Heaven Hasmanicki walked the shed row a day after working five furlongs in 101 on Friday, trainer Anthony Corderolo said the filly came out of the work fine and may return to the track to jog Sunday morning, Heaven Hasmanicki is 17th on the Kentucky Oaks leaderboard and will need three defections from among the likely entrants Monday to make the 14-horse field. Midnight Bisu, trainer Bill Spar put his finishing touches on his Philly Midnight Bisu's preparations for next Friday's Kentucky Oaks when he sent the dark daughter of Midnight Blue through a six furlong drill Saturday morning at Santa Anita Park in California. Clockers at the Arcadia track caught the multiple stakes winner in 1 minute 13 seconds and 80 milliseconds for the drill accomplished with Jockey Martin Pedroza in the boot, though Pedroza won't ride the filly in the $1 million guaranteed Oaks big money, Mike Smith will. Spar has used Pedroza regularly in the mornings on Midnight Bisu. Martin knows her well and he does right by her, the veteran conditioner said. I wanted her to finish strong today and she did. I had her galloping out in 27, 127, and change which is just what I wanted. She's doing really well, Midnight Bisu, a winner of three straight stakes this year, is owned by the partnership of Allen Racing and Bloom Racing Stable. Spar noted that she'd shipped to Kentucky on Monday, along with stablemate Sky Diamonds, who will run next Saturday in the $300,000 Great I Humana Distaff at 7 furlongs. Smith will be the stable's rider there, also, Spar, who won the 2011 Breeders' Cup Sprint at Churchill Downs with champion Amazombie, also with Smith aboard, ships to Kentucky on Monday, too, Monomoy Girl, Sassy Sienna, Kelly's Humor, Michael Dubb and Monomoy Stables Monomoy Girl completed her major preparation for the May 4th Long Island's Kentucky Oaks Ski, Saturday morning with a 5 furlong breeze in 1 minute 1 second and 60 milliseconds in company with allowance winner Secret House, 102, she went really good, said jockey Florent Giroux as they jogged off the racetrack. She's not even tired, Monomoy Girl is the likely morning line favorite for the Kentucky Oaks, according to Churchill Downs's morning line odds maker Mike Battaglia, I'm sure I'll get to be a little more nervous Friday when we're leading over the favorites for the Oaks. Trainer Brad Cox said, She continues to do well and I'm getting excited for Friday. The Oaks and Derby exclusive training period is pretty cool for all of the fans and media to get a look at all of the horses on the track at once. Cox's other Kentucky Oaks contender, Medallion Racing and Jerry McClanahan's Fantasy, GIII, winner Sassy Sienna, breezed a half mile in, 49.20 with jockey Gary Stevens in the saddle, she really progressed this winter in Arkansas, Cox said. We got her back to Churchill the other week and she continues to do well, needing four defections to make the field. Ike and Don Thrash's Kelly's humor worked five furlongs in one minute two seconds and twenty milliseconds Saturday morning. If the midnight loop filly does not make the Kentucky Oaks field she will likely enter the 8 Bell GII on May 4th at Churchill Downs, according to Cox. My Miss Lily, Cortland Farms My Miss Lily jogged twice around the track at 6.30 under regular rider Emerson Chavez, ponied by Miney Goats and Bucky, trainer Mark Hennig's wife Rosemary is overseeing training while Mark is in New York, and reported that My Miss Lily will gallop the rest of the week. Mark is set to return Sunday afternoon and will be at Churchill Downs Monday morning, she feels really good and looks really good, Rosemary said. We just sent her with the regular group so it wouldn't be that mad rush of Derby and Oaks horses coming on and coming off in 15 minutes. She'd be happier with that, Raya, Sheikh Rashid bin Humaid al new Emmys UAE Derby, G2, runner-up Raya breezed 5 furlongs in 1 minute 1 second and 80 milliseconds at Santa Anita Park, Raya will ship to Churchill Downs on Monday with the rest of Bob Baffert's Derby weekend stakes contenders. Red Ruby, Sandra Sexton and Brandy Nicholson's Martha Washington winner, Red Ruby galloped Saturday morning at Kinnelland. Trainer Kellen Gorder said, It is very unlikely that Red Ruby would run in the Oaks. Red Ruby is no. 15 on the Oaks leaderboard and the first filly on the bubble for the field that is limited to 14 starters, Red Ruby may work Sunday at Kinnelland after which a final decision will be made. 
take charge Pale, Peter Deutsch's forward gal, GIII, winner take charge Paula galloped at Pum Meadows Training Center Saturday morning for trainer Kiar and McLaughlin, 10th in the Pocahontas, GII, here last fall, take charge Paula is scheduled to gallop again Sunday morning before beginning the ship to Kentucky in the afternoon for a Monday arrival at Churchill Downs, Jose Ortiz has the Oaks Mount. Wonder Godot, Gary Barber's Wonder Godot walks Saturday morning after working four furlongs in 48.20 Friday, trainer Mark Cass reported that she will likely have an easy jog tomorrow. Shaping up, the Kentucky Oaks, likely starters in the 144th running of the $1 million, Great Eye Long Ines Kentucky Oaks to be run for three-year-old fillies at one and an eighth miles on Friday, May 4th, blamed jockey Ken Hill Chocolate Martini, TBA, Classy Act, TBA, Coach Rocks, Louise Sees, Eskimo Kisses, Corey Lennery, Midnight Bisu, Mike Smith, Monomoy Girl, Florent Giroux, My Miss Lily, Joe Bravo, Patrona Margaritas, TBA, Rhea, Drayton Van Dyke, Sassy Sienna, Gary Stevens, Take Charge Palais, Jose Ortiz, Wonder Godot, John Velasquez, possible starters within the top 14 on the preference list, Amy's Challenge, TBA, next up in order of preference, Red Ruby, TBA, Exuberance, TBA, Heaven Hasmanicki, TBA, Kelly's Humor, TBA, Perspective Fields for Upcoming Stakes, $400,000, Ali Sheba, GII, Entry is taken Monday, Race Friday, May 4th, Probable, Always Dreaming, Backyard Heaven, Goats Town, hence $350, oh oh oh, La Troy N, presented by, Twin Spires, Key entries taken Monday, race Friday, May 4th, probable, double Tasman, Martini Glass, Streamline. Possible, Ivy Bell, Salty $200, OOO, Edgewood, presented by, Fort Bank, GIII, entry is taken Monday, race Friday, May 4th, probable, Altia, FR, Beyond Blame, Bo Peep, Daddy is a Legend, Heavenly Love, Cabela, Toinette $200, OOO, 8 Bell, presented by, Kentucky, Trailer, GII, entries taken Monday, race Friday, May 4th, probable, Gas Station Sushi, Hold Her Tight, Cram, Mia Mischief, Salt Bay, Shamrock Rouse, Talk View to Me $200, OOO, Twin, Spires, Turf, Sprint, GIII, Entries Taken Monday, Race Friday, May 4th, Probable, Bucaro, Chief Secretaries, Flash Away, Frisky Magician, Imprimis, Kid Perfect, Latent Revenge, Restless Rambler, Riser, Vision Perfect, $500,000, Old Forester Turf. Classic Key, entry is taken Tuesday, May 1st, race Saturday, May 5th, Probable, Arklow, Beach Patrol, Channel Maker, Doval Hire, Kurilov Chi, Shining Copper, Sir Dudley Diggs, Synchrony, War Decree $500, OOO, Churchill Downs, presented by, Twin Spires, Com, GII, entries taken Tuesday, May 1st, race Saturday, May 5th, Probable, Imperial Hint, Limousine Liberal, McCracken, Outplay, Petrov, Unbridled Outlaw, Warriors Club $300, OOO, American, Turf, presented by, Ram, Truck, GII, entries taken Tuesday, May 1st, race Saturday, May 5th, Probable, Admiralty Pier, Arawak, Channel Cat, Dragon Drew, Maraud, Ride a Comet, River Boy Nire, 3 and 4 pence, Tiger's Rule, Tis Mischief, Untamed Domain.